What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. It's great to have you here. I realized that I have not been as active on social media recently. So I kind of wanted to do a video about a little bit of an update in the studio, what I have going on, because I've kind of tested out some new stuff, doing a lot of custom orders this year, which is different for me. Normally, you know, everything I make, I just either put up online to sell or I put up at my coffee shops to sell. But this year, it all started with, I'm making them for Anderson Windows. They asked me if I could make a thousand custom mugs that look like this. Well, actually I gave them probably 10 different samples and this was the sample that they chose. So they asked if I could do a thousand, which I'm happy they didn't end up doing a thousand because they ended up ordering 350, which is still a lot. And the design that they take with their logo is taking quite a bit of time. I started with that one uh, and then I've kind of promoted it a little bit that I will do custom orders for local companies. So this year I have 200 more of these to make before December 1st. I have, currently I'm working on some beer steins. I already did this order as well. This is for a local brewing company called Waconia Brewing Company. So made them 85 of these custom liter beer steins for their Oktoberfest party, which was very fun. I went to, uh, and it was fun. People could buy these mugs and then get them full and they could pay for like 10 bucks for a refill. So that was a fun order. So I got that one done already. Now for the rest of the year before Christmas, I have quite a few mugs to make. So I'm just gonna list them quick. The ones I'm working on today are these beer steins for a local place called The Cave. So that's what I have going on today. So we're gonna be making some of those. So you'll see me throwing those today. Uh, so that's the first ones. Those are November 15th. I gotta get those done. Uh, then we have 20 for an interior design company. I have 100 of this mug for uh, a friend of mine's company, One Shop Media. Uh, I have 75 for a stucco company. Another 75 for a paint and drywall company. That's kind of what I'm working on right now. And it's all part of this theory of mine that potentially in the future, if I keep getting these big custom orders that I would build a little business around it. So I'd have employees, I'd have people that can help me put logos on. And because there's a couple handmade pottery places that do this already, like Deneen Potteries in Minneapolis or Gray Fox, or there's a couple that have, you know, a staff of 10 to 15. They have potters that throw and then they have people that glaze and so I'm kind of just toying with that idea. That's just what I've been thinking about in my head and I've made a lot of work for myself before Christmas this year. But I'm also hoping to do a couple restocks and get some videos done as well. So we're gonna hop on uh, the wheel. I threw. So these are the custom beer steins that are gonna turn out like this. But I threw these all yesterday. We have to do 40 of them. This is about 32, I think. So we're gonna throw eight more and then we gotta put Logos on them, handles on them. They got the little thumb rest on there, right there too. So we gotta put that on there. And then we'll go from there. B clay from Continental Clay, porcelain stoneware mix. Each of these beer steins, I am starting with about 20 ounces of clay, which is one pound and a quarter. And it will hopefully hold around 20 ounces, maybe like 20, 20 to 22 ounces. That's what I'm thinking. So, that right there is one pound and one quarter. All right, here we go. Once I get the shape pretty well established, then I take my rib, my metal rib, and I make it even more, more of a defined shape. Take that layer of slip off, get rid of the finger lines. So for this shape, I take the rib, and I go up the side like that, and then I take the, the part that's curved right here and really push it in. Pull that lip out. And I like having a pretty sharp, 
I just like having it go straight up here and then go whoop, right in. Then I'll take my sweet tool from Old Forge Creations, sweet foot shaping tool, and create a nice big foot on the bottom. All right, there we go. Okay, so the next thing, we got our mugs thrown, so those won't be ready to really work on for a while. But these will be ready to work on at some point today. They're still a little bit wet. Next thing I do is get a slab ready. So we have a slab roller over there, but I'll usually throw out a slab, then put it on the slab roller, roll it out, and then you gotta really go over it and make it smooth. Otherwise, you have these little bumps in there from the slab roller. There we go, so we get the slab kind of into a, you know, half inch, three quarter inch, whatever. Then we bring it over to the slab roller. Sandwich this clay between two pieces of canvas. The slab is set to three eighths. One of my children was messing with this because that is way too thick. Okay, so I gotta go down Normally I never have to adjust this, like I get it where I won't like it and then I... All right, that seems a little better. So I'll bring this over here. Okay, and then I have a big scraper that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna cut this in half. And then I'm going to... And then I go over it like this. And this just allows it to smooth it out. Because then once I do this, I'll let it sit for a little bit and just get a little harder, a little firmer. And then I'll come back and stamp it in probably 30 or 40 minutes or something. This is the stamp that I'm cutting out to put onto the mugs. So this is cornstarch, and I just spread a little bit of this on. The cornstarch helps to keep the stamp from sticking. But I have the square cookie cutter. And I'm just gonna make a mark so I know where I can put the stamp. So I do, I'm doing two stamps for each one. These stamps I get from Justin's Makery. So if you are interested in getting your own custom stamps, he is super great. I think it's justinsmakery.com, but he does a great job making stamps for clay. All right, so there we go. Then I'm gonna take this, cut that out. So then I got two stamps here. And then I take a paint scraper and use it to cut that straight line straight across. Boom. So I'll take a little scratch tool, scratch. I got slip, which is just watered down clay basically acts like a, a glue when you're connecting pieces. It's always safest to slip and score. Then I just try and get it lined up as straight as possible. Yeah, one thing I have done more recently now is I'll just take a paintbrush with water, just go around the edge, just make sure that there's like a good connection there. Then I just need to wait for it to dry a little bit, trim it, and then put the handle on. So the last part of 
these mugs before they get fired for the first time is to put the little thumb mark right on there. So I just score the top of that a little bit. I'll just take, you know, a little piece of clay, roll it up into a ball like that. And I'll put it down, just press my thumb into it. So it looks like that. Score the bottom of it like that. And I'll take my slip. Put it on there like this. Just get my fingers wet a little bit. Just kind of form it. There we go. All right, so there is one of 40 that I gotta get done. And that cornstarch will just burn off at a pretty low temperature in the kiln. So that will not be there when it comes out. So then when I had them come out to look at this project, they picked this glaze, which is a sandstone over black gloss from Mako. And so I'm gonna do a couple tests to make sure that a full mug looks exactly like this, but this should be what it is, kind of a grayish matte color on top of this black gloss. So should be cool. And then the logo will have the black gloss in there, just like all the other ones, like the Anderson and all that stuff. So there it is. Beer Stein should be about 20 to 22 ounces with the logo on there. All the logos are on there right now. I'm just waiting for them to dry a little longer and then I'll go back and trim them. And then I have all the handles cut out and ready to go right here. And I'll put the handles on. So it's a long process and we have a lot of custom orders to do, uh, but I'm excited. It's gonna be good. If I continue to get this many custom orders uh, over like past this holiday, then I definitely think I need to start hiring people to help. I mean, I have one intern that helps me in the summers, Kai, and he's awesome. And he is coming home for a weekend pretty soon to help me with a bunch of these orders. So that is gonna be super helpful. Uh, but I think if it continues where I'm making all these custom mugs and doing large, larger projects like this, then I think uh, a staff of a couple, two or three, four people might be necessary. So, all right. Thank you guys for joining me in the studio today. Give me a comment below if you wanna see any videos in the future. I'm hoping to get to some tutorials very soon. So, hope you enjoy the video. See you guys in the next one.